Okay, so question nine. Consider this system at equilibrium. So we have A plus B. Oh, wait, A is in equilibrium with B. And its delta H value is equal to negative 650 kilojoules per mole. And then the question asks, what can be said about Q and K immediately after an increase in temperature? Okay, so first let's kind of analyze our reaction. So delta H is enthalpy. So enthalpy is negative. Uh, so this tells us that the reaction is exothermic. So when we have an exothermic reaction, that means heat is produced, or heat is a product. Okay, so we'll also define what Q and A kind of represent. So K is the concentration of B over the concentration of A at equilibrium. And Q, similarly, is also the concentration of B over the concentration of A, but this is at reaction conditions. So when we, let's try a different color. Okay, so when temperature is increased, we can also look at this as that we are adding heat. So that's the same thing as saying that we are adding more product, since heat is a product of this reaction. So therefore, the reaction will shift to the left, so to our reactant side. So when reaction shifts to the left, then the value of K decreases. Okay, so A is favored. And the value of Q will be greater than K. Because at reaction conditions, yeah. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. Uh, because the enthalpy change is negative, the reaction gives off heat and it's exothermic. The expressions for the equilibrium constant and the reaction quotient Q are as follows. Uh, B over A, either at equilibrium or at reaction conditions. In an exothermic reaction, heat is a product, therefore increasing the temperature of this system will shift the reaction to the left in order to minimize the change in temperature. Thus, reactant A will be favored and K will decrease. Yep, so the solution is correct. So every time there's a change in the reaction conditions, 
uh, the reaction wants to go towards um, something that will make it more in equilibrium. So that's why when more product is added, then it kind of shifts more to the reactants to kind of balance it out. Thank you.